Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Fret, what are you doing? Don't you hear the alarms? Ain't you been listening to the voices telling you you gotta leave? What do you mean you're not gonna leave? Huh? Can you hear the man? I don't see you with your cell phone looking at the reliable media source. Oh, Fred. The tsunami warning is in effect for Kodiak with the anticipated arrival time of a tsunami at 2.50, but this is a big, wild guess. So evacuate now, play it safe. Um, the initial earthquake was 7.4 magnitude, 55 miles southeast of Sand Point, and about 25 miles deep. This is the same area that has been very active since that big earthquake in July. A tsunami warning has been issued for this area. Tune in to a reliable media source for this time. Attention. Se ha imitado una emergencia de tsunami. Sintones a una fuente de información confiable para obtener más detalles. Sigan pensando. Isang babala sa tsunami ang inilabas. Dumuon sa isang maaakahan na pagkukunan ng media para sa mga detalye. That's the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, right there in my backyard. <laughs> well, a lot of the boats are heading out. Right here where I'm standing, I'm at 60 feet elevation. They recommend 100 foot or better. It's my understanding if the tsunami happens, it's supposed to happen in about an hour and a half, something like that. But many of the boats are heading to deeper water. They got to get in water roughly 200 feet or of depth or deeper to be safe. That's a Coast Guard C-130 up there. They're Sending them over to Anchorage, I would imagine. So here we go again. What we're going to do right now is get back on this bug infested um, outboard. Did some more breaking down, tearing down of this motor to get the bugs out. I think I about got most of them out of there. So, uh, we're going to do a compression check on it. I got this old buggy thing back in here. Now, I can't say yet if they've made it into the carburetor. I popped the carburetor off. But they have made it into the intake. I can see some up in there. I've already dug a couple out. I can get, get some more out of that. There you go. I don't know how I'm going to get him to get something a little longer than this guy. I see at least one in the intake. There we go, I'm getting him. I get him. 
if I get him up here. I can get him with my pinchers. I reach in there and I get him with these. There's a couple of them looks like. Bugs in the intake. Another chunk. Right. I got about five or six out of the intake. There's the carbonator. Let's see. So far, so good. Don't look that bad in there. A little yuckums, but. No bugs so far. So, let's poke out that guy. Looking pretty good, actually. Looking pretty good. Nothing inside the old Venturi or anything. So, I think we're looking all right. Okay, I got that lower unit ready to drop. I put a uh, drop cloth down there so I can catch whatever bugs come out. So let's see. There's a few bugs everywhere. Whole thing jammed full of them. Never seen anything like this. Get you pointed down here. I kind of figured that's about what that thing would look like once I got that lower off of there. Say we had a pretty good nest going. Let's get us a spark checker on this thing. Right here. We got good spark. 
spark on both. And one more bug fell out. Basically what I'm going to be doing here, so I've got that lower unit off, and I just put lube all over everything after, you know, hosing it down completely with intake cleaner. And what I'm going to do is get this carb cleaned up. I'm going to soak it a little bit and get it cleaned up. And then we'll start it without the lower unit on it. See if we can blow any other bugs out of there. I'll be back. All right, let's do this bottom cylinder. On the compressionis. We are zeroed out. Make sure you're in there properly. Probably should lower you down a little bit. All right, we are zeroed out. Let's spin it over. All right. What we got? What we got? What we got? We got about 92 on the bottom. 92. 92. And when I spun it over that time, I didn't see any more bugs fall out. Okay. We are in the top. Zero. What we get? What we get? We are at 110. So a little bit of difference in range, but that could just be all the stuff I've squirted in there. Come out! Come out, bugs! You must come out! I rid thee of the bugs! Yuck. Come out! Come out, bugs! That ain't working, is it? It's... Name... That... Tune... Time... And money. Looks like they took my friends. Time and money. Looks like they took my friends. Name, Dad. Two. All right. You'll see what I'm going to see. I don't have everything hooked up yet, but I'm hoping it'll at least start. Um, yeah. Let's go.
why it's so loud. And... and I see... Uh, I see one, two bugs, but there's this other stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. If it's fly poop or what, I don't know what that is. But some of that's in the tank, but for the most part, I only see one fly. <laughs> oh, there's two. No, there's a handful. But Oh, I see more back in there. They're hiding on me. I'll show you. You bugs be hiding. They back in there. Oh yeah. They're probably half a dozen or bear. There they come. There come the flies. That's a few. There the flies. There's some more. There's some more. There's some more. And there's this other stuff. I don't even know what it is. It's just nasty. I don't know what that is. Almost look like bird poop. So I guess it could be fly poop. There's one. See that? I don't know what that is. Some kind of larvae? Larvae? I don't know. But I got about a dozen or more flies out of there. But I guarantee it is. Whatever fly was living in that engine after that, he dead now. <laughs> he dead now. Yeah. Whatever fly was in there, he dead now. Cause I barbecued him. Actually, I didn't get it really that hot. Hundred and fifty three at the cylinder. I don't know if this camera picks well it died on me. Was it? Oh yeah. One seventy five. That'll cook the bug. So we cook it up some bug. But she runs. I still got to hook hoses and stuff all up. Those hoses are all brittle. They got, they got to come off of there. But uh, I think we debugged her. We debugged her. Well, I think we got it mostly debugged. Tomorrow, I'll run it up to about 150, 70 degrees again um, before I put the lower on it and hook everything back up. Um, I don't know what that yuck is that came out with the bugs. Maybe they had, I've never heard of a, a fly colony, but I don't know what kind of flies them were. So, um, but some other yuck is in my tank, so I'll have to clean that out tomorrow. Um, but as far as the earth's shaking and quaking, the old 7.5, I think it was, on that Richter scale, Richtum scale, Rectum scale, Rectum scale, Broctum scale. Um, no tsunami ever came. This is, I think, the fourth evacuation that we've had in the last about 22 months. Um, over there by Sand Point, about 60 miles off the west side of Kodiak Island. Um, I guess they did get about uh, a, a three foot wave surge over there. I, I wouldn't call it a tsunami um, that I understand no damage happened. But uh, so everything was fine here on the rock. Just a little shaking, rattling, rolling. Enough of that. I get it. Um, so that's going to be a wrap.
That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.